Hi, Steve. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Katan from Hey You Guys. Um, now, it's a remarkable story, which I unfortunately knew nothing about beforehand. So can right. you tell us a bit about it? Yes. In 1971, I was in, interviewed for a, an underground rock magazine called Zigzag. Um, and the um, reporter asked me if I um, received untold wealth, fame, etc., would it impact detrimentally on my songwriting ability? And I said, uh, clearly, I thought it would. And uh, John Lennon wrote in to con contradict me in the nicest possible way, saying, no, in fact, it. Um, life still throws up loads of experiences and you'll find you'll still want to write songs and it'll, it won't change at all. And um, he proved it really because he wrote some great songs after that particular time, you know, and carried on until his death writing great music. So, um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now in the movie we see Al Pacino play a character who receives a similar sort of letter. That's right. Yeah, um, it's not. It's not exactly based on your life story, but how loosely is it based around that? It's pretty loose. I think. I think. I think up until up until he does an interview with a magazine, and um, I think he, he starts off. He's he's a kind of singer songwriter like like myself, and then I think he just got you know distracted by fame and fortune, and he attempts to tries to uh, re kindle refine what <clears throat> what he's lost in life you know it's sort of it's like a uh, redemption um, journey as soon as I realized that it was essentially based on a true story and as much as you received that letter yeah. years afterwards I thought instantly that it would make for a great film is that what you thought as well well when when Dan Fogelman got in touch and sort of said that he'd had this idea of a film I thought yeah, actually, it would make a great film. <laughs> so I was on board straight away. Yeah, I thought it was a, a great idea. And what's it like to have Al Pacino play that character? Well, he's just a wonderful, wonderful actor. So I'm um, flattered. You know, you could could you get any, think of anybody be better to do it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Could you think of anyone else playing a character based on you? Well, no, I couldn't really. Marlon Brando? No, <laughs> he's not around anymore. No, I think I think this is fantastic. I think he's just uh, he's one of my favourite actors. So, what emotions do you go through when you see the the film? Well, I've seen it before, and I was really, I really, I really enjoyed seeing it. I'm really looking forward to seeing it again. You know, it's, it's a great, great bit of enter entertainment. Yeah. And I'm assuming you've met Al before as well. What, what's he I like as a him, person? No, I met him for the first time this afternoon and um, really, really, really enjoyed meeting him. Very, very nice, gentle man. If roles were reversed and if you had the chance to give advice to a young and up-and-coming uh, songwriter, singer-songwriter, yeah. what would you tell them? Just keep on doing it and uh, keep burnishing at the words and, and um, keep honing them. And uh, yeah, but just basically keep on. And if you believe in yourself, you know, it'll eventually something, something good should happen. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Cheers. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.